Chapter Twenty Six of Angel Food Little Talks to Little Folks by Reverend Gerald T. Brennan. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Recording by Maria Therese. Pulling the Donkey's Tail. Here's a story that you have never heard. I am sure that you are going to like it. This is a story about a soldier. All the wars had stopped. So this soldier decided to travel around the world until a new war started. Then he could go to work fighting again. The soldier went to every single country that you study about in your geography. Everything was grand. The soldier had a great time until he came to the wild country of Arabia. When our soldier came to Arabia, he went to visit one of the Arab chiefs, called Ali Posh. Oh, Chief Ali Posh was fine to our soldier. The chief had his servants take the soldier for a ride in the desert, and the soldier sat up on top of one of those big brown camels. Then Chief Ali Posh gave a big party for our soldier. There were all kinds of good things to eat at the party, and the Arab boys and girls put on a show for the visiting soldier. He had an elegant time. But that night, when the soldier got ready to go to bed, what do you think happened? He put his hand into his pocket, and his money was gone. Someone had stolen the soldier's pocketbook. Of course, our traveling soldier went right to Chief Ali Pash. He thanked the chief for being so kind to him, and he told the chief that someone had stolen his money. My, Chief Ali Pash was mad, and the soldier was mad too. Here he was, away over in Arabia, hundreds of miles from home, with no money in his pocket. What was the poor soldier going to do? Well, Chief Ali Posh told the soldier to go to bed and not to worry. Chief Ali Posh promised that in the morning he would absolutely find the stolen money. In the morning a funny thing happened. The heir of Chief Ali Posh had a mule with a white tail. The chief didn't tell anybody, but he went out into the barn and rubbed grease all over the donkey's tail. Why did he do this? Listen, and you will see. Ali Posh sent for all of his servants and friends. He told how sorry he was to have a soldier come to visit him and have someone steal the soldier's money. Ali Posh, the chief, ordered his servants to bring out his mule, the mule with the white tail. Then Chief Ali Posh told all his people that he wanted them to go up one by one and pull the mule's tail. The mule, Chief Ali Posh declared, would kick the one who stole the money. So, one by one, the servants and the chief's friends came up and pulled the donkey's tail. And after they had all pulled the donkey's tail, no one had been kicked. Then, do you know what Chief Ali Posh did? He made all the people open up their hands, and the chief went around and looked at their hands. Sure enough, there was grease on everybody's hands, except one, a big, tall, rough-looking Arab. Chief Ali Posh knew right away that this rough-looking Arab had not pulled the donkey's tail. He didn't pull the donkey's tail because he was afraid that the donkey would kick him and give him away. And sure enough, the chief put his hand into the rough-looking Arab's pocket, and there was a soldier's stolen pocketbook. Now that's the way the Arab chief, Ali Posh, catches a thief. But how does God catch a thief? God doesn't have to catch thieves, because God is always on the job. God is always looking. God never sleeps. And whenever you take something that does not belong to you, God is right there on the job, looking at you. Boys and girls, don't you ever take anything that does not belong to you. You don't like it when someone steals something from you, do you? Well, other people don't like it when you steal something from them. And remember this. Whatever you steal, you always have to give it back. You know, it isn't just enough to go to confession and tell the priest that you stole. If you want that sin to come off your soul, you must promise God that you will give the thing back and then you must give back what you have stolen. Some boys and girls have eyes that are too big. They want everything they see. 
If they see something they like, they just help themselves to it. Well, that's stealing. That's a sin. You must give that thing back. If the devil ever comes up to you and whispers into your ear and tries to make you steal, what should you do? Do this. Keep your hands in your pockets. And that's pretty good advice. Keep your hands in your pockets, and then your hands won't get you into trouble. End of chapter 26